Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, so today, whew, it's been a while since I've done anything. Sorry about that, but maybe we'll get back into it. But today we are doing a pretty little thing. First time ever buying off of this what website. Bleh, can't even speak. Oh my god. Um and yeah, so I got oh a pretty big bag from Pretty Little Thing. And clearly this website is aimed at the more, shall we say, younger generation. Yeah, we'll say the younger generation, because I can tell you now, from my experience, I think, oh everybody's doing all this pretty little thing, everyone's going on about it, let me have a little looky loo. So I did. And honey, I got to tell you. All I found on that website was a whole lot of questions. Who's wearing this stuff? Where are you going? That is my main question. Is you're buying this stuff on Pretty Little Thing. Where are you going? Like really? Where? Who is buying it? Where are you going? Why are you paying that much as well? Because, huh, that's pretty expensive. I can tell you, I got this. My order was shipped on May 22nd, so about a day after I ordered it, and that was the Click Frenzy Mayhem sale. So that was up to 70% off the website, plus with the Click Frenzy discount code, there was another 10% off, and that is the only reason I had bought anything off of there. But yeah, so what happened was, they had the Click Frenzy Mayhem sale, so I just gone, Right, I can see some shit on there. It's like $17, $15, $12. I'm like, okay, I could spend some of that. So what I did was I jumped on the couch beside my flatmate, Anthony. And I just went, right, we are going to find some of the most ridiculous shit we can find on here. And we're just going to do it. Just going to do it. Because all of this stuff, except for this, and I think something else. No, I think just this. Everything is from their curve range. So they are designing and making and marketing and selling these clothes for the more voluptuous of us ladies. And we're here to put it to the test to see if we can get all of this into some of that. So, without further ado hooty, let's get onto it. We'll start with this guy. It is amazing and I love it. I love it, love it, love it so much. Oh, yes. I knew I was on to a winner. This is a size large and I just put my phone down again. Shit. It is a, let me see what they say it is. A pink bardo leopard knit jumper. So with all of the percentages off and everything, I ended up paying $15.30, which is amazing because it is cute. It's, so it's got the scoopy off the shoulder, which I have washed it and now it fits, actually fits better across there. And it's actually quite a thick knit and I really wasn't expecting that. It's a crop, so it's got... I am wearing my pyjama pants because, oh my god, bitches be cold out there. Anywho, so this is it. It's got a little wing. It's got the purple along the bottom. It's crop. And it's just so cute and comfortable. On to the second item that I actually bought with the full intentions of wearing normal like. Ah. So this is, what is it? It's a skirt. It is the plus dusty pink button front mini skirt in a size 18. So everything here on out I believe is a size 18. The only thing that's not size 18 is this and it's a large. And when I first got it, I thought it might have just been a bit too tight. But I washed it and now it's great. So dusty pink button front mini skirt i paid thirteen dollars fifty obviously this is all in aussie dollars so get your currency converter out and if you're on their website it will tell you in your own dollars or pounds or whatever where you are and i'll link all the descriptions down below so if you want to look you can cook it oh okay cool cool oh maybe a little bit too big but that's nice it's actually a bit darker than what i thought We've got buttons down the front, obviously. You've got front pockies 
and you've got back pockets and they're functionable and that is amazing and let's see if I can get these over the pajama pants without actually having to take them off okay so this is a bit odd size whew, 18 um it's very balloony there like that's but very tight here like all right I have a short torso, we know that, we've been there, done that, had that discussion, so I just tucked my jumper in under my bra, which is sitting literally on my rib, and that's where the skirt wants to sit in order for me to be able to do it up, which then is making everything stick out. I'm just going to have a little looky-loo in the mirror here. Very, no, wow, I'm disappointed in, that is just odd. No. Oh my god. Do you see? Do you see this shit? What the? Wow. Okay. Wait. I was thinking it was going to be worn. Oh, suck it in, suck it in. Down, you know, around your belly button where you wear these things. But that is, like, yes, that would be a size. Shit. Probably a 20. This around here is no size 18 in your life, nanny. Okay, what if you wear something? What's that? No, this is just retarded. What the? That is just too much for your hips. Right, well. Shit. Next. Because I don't know what the hell just happened there, but this is really crap. Oh, that's so disappointing, but I got one jumper. Anyway, moving on. What oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> this is going as well as can be expected. I knew Pretty Little Things was just a waste of my time and money. Anyway, moving on. We've got plus brown faux leather snake print wide pants for a grand total of $17.10. I paid for these things in a size 18. You heard me. You did hear correctly. That is, I shall repeat, Faux leather snake print wide pants. It's gonna be great. Oh, it sounds like a raincoat. Leap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Alright, alright. So let's just shake them out. Get rid of the little piece of paper that came with it. But um alright, let's Let's, uh, I don't think you're ready for this. Um, <laughs> so I'm like, well, what would you say? Like five, we'll go five, six. So that's about 165 centimeters. You will take a few here and there. So I just unfolded these pants. And if I'm a, like wide leg pants, yeah, they're usually a little bit long, right? So this is, the uh, feet are actually touching the ground and this, that is covering my boobs and it feels like a raincoat it sounds like a raincoat and they oh they smell funky oh <laughs> Woo! that is a funky funky smell plastic button they have like they li they have no lining that is just the backside of the faux leather shit well man this is a whole lot of fuck all right all right all right all right all right we're doing it we're doing it we got this we got this oh, <laughs> Hit 
Tschüss. <lacht> can't go back far. <lacht> the snake has swallowed my <lacht> to sit down oh that is the waistband is stuck to me but uh oh they stink that is some um, fungi smell um this is like lino snakes get back like oh that is that is this is why i have not bought a wide leg before because that is ridiculous <laughs> uh, hey what have we got next let's um see if we can find this top is this Ay, ay, ay. Oh, oh. oh, it's brilliant. Okay, <laughs> this is going to be a look. We have <clears throat> next, this would be a plus black cape satin plunge shirt that I paid $15.30 for in a size 18. That's right, you heard me correctly. A black cape satin plunge shirt. It is a shirt with a built on cape. <laughs> oh girl, I got me one of these safety harnesses. Don't remove this or you can't return it. That means it was on the pricey side. It's quite heavy. It's um, it's crazy. You know I bought it just because it said it's got a cape. How are you gonna all right, so it does up with just a little bit there. We don't care about that. We just want to see this shit on. All right, in a memento. Oh, All right, are you near the cami or something? Although, in the picture. I swear that bitch is not wearing anything under there. No, she's just got her... She's just got her tartar. She's just taped in. But a little bit of modest decorum going on here. Yeah, I. It's quite roomy. I'll give it that. Oh, can you see? It's got a cape. That's the that's the important thing. To me, the cape. Can you see it? I have a cape. Of course. This is the wow. This is a look I've got going on right here. All right, it's a size 18. Um, can I just say? I have no it feel that oh, I don't know maybe it needs to be up a bit lots of room I can fly away with my cape <laughs> it's not it's not the worst thing I mean it's not the greatest either but it's not the worst it I'm sure somebody it just feels really bizarrely tight here like there is a butt ton of room in the sleeves, but the actual fucking cape, man. Um, actual joint at the arm there, it actually, like, you can move, but you can feel the tightness in it. So if I had a gone a 16, oh shit, it, um, because it feels like it needs to be in a bit more like that, but then you restrict your arm movements. I don't know. So here we go. So, yeah, you have to be taped in there. You have got to be taped. Fantastic. What have we got? Give <laughs> yourself up like this. This is a lot of plastic. Plus peach second skin scoop neck cut 
Outside Body Con Dress 18. Peach, that's a bit orange. And I paid a, a grand total. God, there's a lot of plastic in here. Not environmentally friendly, I've got to tell you. Plus Peach, Second Skin, Scoop Neck, Cut Outside Body Con Dress. $10.80. Bargain bitches. Shit, yeah. Alright. There's a few things in this description that hold great concern. <gasps> no, that's still the shit. Great concern for me. Second skin. So it's going to be tight. Cut outside. It's missing bits of the dress. Body con. Never have I ever. <laughs> Never have I ever worn a body con skirt, dress, anything. Never have I ever wanted to wear a body con anything. So, <laughs> it looks like I'm missing its ass. <laughs> it's long sleeved. That is a scoop. It looks like it's being held together by a thread. Fantastic. Let's do this. Yeah. We have issue issues. Big issues. Oh, good good. He Jim Grimony. Bloody fuck and maybe it goes up the other way. Nope, nope. Nope. Oh. oh shit. Is it even I need another person? A few moments later. <clears throat> Clearly <laughs> There's some issues <sighs> with this. Size 18, yeah. So this is in the curve section and it's a size 18 and I can't get the fucker on. Like this arm needs to be Oh, pulled up because this <laughs> I'm wearing flesh coloured underwear for obvious reasons it's supposed to be over your boob but I can't actually get the back bit <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to get this fucking thing off this is not, this is stuck on my touch up lady arm wings and this at the back feels like it should oh my god what all right so it takes it all day oh now they're popping near the top oh i can't move my arms i feel like i got a bandage around my arm all right this is so not comfortable do i even want to oh yeah that's that's beautiful that is not <laughs> that is fan Fantastic. In what world is this a good look? I can't move my arms are like they got a compression bandage. That's it. A compression bandage around and it's not sitting where it should be. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this off. So you've got your lovely rolls going on because that's attractive. Um, clearly you don't wear a bra because that's all hanging out and then you've got the cut out at the back so if you're not that worried you get your lovely back rolls too and your side rolls yes one giant peach roll but even with that is not going to cover the bottom of your right or the top you got you have to choose there is a choice you must make do you cover the top of your tartars or the bottom of your tartars? But if it sits in its place, it's not. <sighs> it's hot. This is wrong. <sighs> I got the other one off and I was just like. <sighs> is this so tight? The Plus Lime Second Skin. Bardo binding detail body con dress in a size 18 that I paid $10.80 for 
Was it worth it? Hell fucking no. <laughs> I'm so... Uh, do I even need to? Like, this is... <laughs> uh, as far as I can raise my hands up in the air like I just don't care. Like, put <laughs> your hands up for Detroit. <laughs> It's itchy. It's where this sits is just dumb because as soon as you put your arms down, we have a situation. I mean, <laughs> there's many situations going on here, but that is a serious design flaw. Keep, please, keep in your mind, these are size 18. Oh shit in the plus size section so going by their measurement guides this shit should fit it clearly does not like it is there is bulge are you supposed to wear your spanks under this i don't own spanks i have one pair of shapey wary stuff that i wore to the wedding last year and the one and only time that i have worn it but i am not comfortable this is not flattering this is not attractive. This is... It's stretchy. To an extent. Either I like my fashion or this really is not fashion. Is this fashion? I don't think so. Like, where are you going? Look like a, a lime green sausage. It's not comfortable. And how is this made for someone that's size 18? I'm going for Let's move on. You know there's more. <laughs> oh, it's got a seatbelt too. Plus neon yellow crochet unitard. Size 18. Bring it on. Bitches. Did unitard become a thing? I was, no, I'm not even going to say come back as a thing because it was never, never a thing. And I can tell you, as someone who's been through a few decades, never. Has there ever been a trend for unitards? Bicycle shorts, yes. Unitards, no. Unless you are in gymnastics, the circus, trapeze. Ooh, it really, it's not crochet, crochet. It is a material. Wow. Oh, this is, oh shit. I might need assistance. Oh, it's high neck. I don't like high neck. Wow, this is really long. And big. Check that shit. <laughs> this is so freaking bright, so I'm blinded. Look at that crochet pattern. Woo! Alright, it's got at the back of the neck and let's let's be real with how everything else is going. Do you think they've really made this to fit around the neck hole? This neck hole to fit around someone that's a size 18? I don't think so. But anywho, we got two little buttons that you're supposed to somehow do and a zip. For the, for the butt, for the butt. All right, I don't even know if I'm gonna, I'm not. <laughs> size 18, it's got all the fucking room in the world. Size 18, I know it's a bodycon, it's supposed to be super tight, but you should still be able to have some room. Just saying. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get out of this dress on my own. <laughs> I have no idea where I'm fucking going, but I'm going. I am not doing up this bit because you know how I keep going on. I got a short horse, are you? You know what's going to happen when you stretch your arms back here to. It's like I could do it up because that's elastic, but I can tell you it is riding up somewhere special. Indeed it is. And, but, oh. <laughs> okay, so it does fit around my fat neck, but I don't, I don't like. Wow. <laughs> and I'm, whew, I have no words. There is no, hang on. Oh, we got a back to look at. What do we got? What do we got? It is. It is. I got room in my legs. This is a look and a half. Where? What? I mean, I just, I need some sunglasses. 
is. Where am I? Hey, up close and personal with this, um, uh, like the top. I mean, maybe you could wear I'm trying to justify something. It's just maybe you could, maybe you could. I, I, um, I, I got nothing. Like, even if you wore like pants over this or a skirt to just have this as a top, that is this is like the wow, you will glow in the dark. Go to a black light party, that is the only place this would be acceptable. There we go. I know where I'm going now. Bit of the. Yeah. But wait. There's more. You thought this was it? This was the pista resistance. No, honey. No. We are moving it on. What? I mean, seriously, you're probably. I know what you're thinking. You know, what? Possibly top a neon green crochet <laughs> fucking unitard. Honey, I got you, I got you covered. We now bring you the plus size 18. Duh. So, not only do it's white one shoulder flare jumpsuit. Boom, bitches. That's right. Oh yeah. I don't understand what I'm wearing. I mean, it's not uncomfortable. I'm warm, but not too warm. I'm covered. I'm showing up. I have a bit of room in the boobs. Let's um. We uh, always have this issue of I lose my feet, but I mean you're going, hi girl, that's a bit alright. Um, no, I mean it's not, it's not bad, it's not, it's not, it's not my body congress now is it? But still, I mean you want some space on, suck that shit, I still have no idea where the fuck I'm going, but, oh what? Yeah, it goes all the way up at the bit here, and um, this right here is why girls will have to go to the bathroom in pairs. Because there is no way in hell you are getting this undone or done up on your own. I had to go get help. Halfway I could do it, the rest of the way, nah, -uh. and I'm soz, but if I got to go, I've got to to go and I do not have time to be undressing. Maybe they should have snatch snaps in your jumpsuits like the babies, or hidden zippers like in the baby's onesies and you just zoot undo them. I think I'm onto something there. Look out fashion world. I'm coming for you. Anyway, size 18. It's not as bad as anticipated but it's still not the greatest. I mean, clearly I don't have the biggest, I mean they're, they're alright, but clearly they expect them to be bigger, cause, but yeah, same issue as always, I, I have no feet, my feet have gone, and no, I kind of have a really long, <laughs> gives you the illusion of a really long camel toe. That's not flattering at all. What else we got going on the back? Oh yes, that's bit of the old stay alive, stay alive, ah 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 ah, stay alive. Yeah, bitch. All right, we have saved the best till last. Oh yeah, we have something super super special. This is. Without a doubt, the most expensive thing I bought. Oh, it's fantastic. This is going to be as good as I anticipated. Plus silver glitter mesh plunge jumpsuit. Mmm, mic drop. 
For a grand total, after all of those percentages off, of $34.20 less. Oh, it's rain and glitter. That is, it's not mesh, it's just um, glitter every fuck. Oh shit. Oh my god. We've got a seatbelt because this shit's expensive. Oh, 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 oh lordy. Lordy, lordy, lord. Oh my god. Oh bitch please. Oh fuck. That is <laughs> It is stuck to itself. Oh, let's just put this bad bitch on, shall we? <laughs> I don't think you're ready for this jam. I don't think you're ready for this jam. I'm too rude and delicious bad. Just take a moment. This is the shit. I have no idea where I'm fucking going, but I'm ready. For what? I don't know. <laughs> this is the... Oh! You know. <laughs> this is very plungy, like... I could see my belly button. If my tummy wants to be... Ah, uh, yep, I am once again walking on the bottom of my pants. It is see-through, except for up here. It's got a... A little built in, I might say, but I'm gonna show you the floor after this because there is so much glitter. I'll turn around and mine in the back. I can't see what's going on back there. I mean, it's pretty high up there. And look at this shit. I can't even walk. This is so itchy and this is so junk, junky, 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 junky glitter. But am I? Not just the most fabulous human disco ball there ever was. I have, I have no words. Oh, it's beautiful. I feel like it needs to be up a little bit higher. I know, clearly need more boobs in there, but you put more boobs in there and you are cutting yourself in half. There is so much glitter on the floor. Oh my God. Let's, where are you going? Studio 51. 51, 50. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Saturday Night Fever. Bit of Bee Gees. We are there. We're going to go show Anthony this. Because he doesn't know that I bought this one, so. <laughs> Hold on to your niggas, boys and girls. Ooh. But first of all. Shall we just uh, take a look at all this glitter on the floor? That's going to be one bitch to clean up. But now, let us go. Are you ready for the peace de resistance? Close your eyes. Close. I'm coming up. I, I can't walk in it. I'm coming up. I'm getting there. So Alrighty. Okay, what's going on? You can open them. You can open them. Oh! <laughs> Let some light on the situation, bitches. What? <laughs> hell. I don't know, but it's a little bit of glitter. <laughs> Excuse me. Coming out. That's a lot. Sam's gonna love it. Oh, he's just. It's. <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> As you can see, it's bloody marvelous. Who does not want a silver glitter mist bodysuit jumpsuit? Where am I going? What am I, what am I even thinking? I don't know. Oh, that concludes. Marberry first ever. Pretty little things. Uh, haul. Gotta say. Thanks for the laughs. <laughs> that was all I hoped for and more. All I expected. And then some. 
did not expect it to fit. Like the size 18 thing in there, it's just ridiculous. There is no way in hell anyone that is a size 18. Why are you looking at me going, yeah, oh, not a size 18. Clearly not. I'm liking that. Oh, fucking not. 20, size 22 might fit. Who knows? But whatever size you are, if you want to wear that, that's great. You go ahead. And can I just ask, if you do own any of this stuff, like, no disrespect to you or anything, I was just taking it because that is clearly not my style, my scene. That is not for me. But should you happen to own any of that stuff, or maybe contemplating buying some of that stuff now. Can I ask you a question? Like, a serious question. Comment down below, please. And just tell me, where are you going? Where? Where are you going? Where are you wearing a neon green crocheted unitard? Where? Apart from a rave party, because we know that's the only acceptable place. Black light. <laughs> that's, that's, that's it. Only place I'm going in that. But I don't even go to that. Where are you going? But to each their own. Hope you enjoyed this. I know I did. That was except for getting stuck in the dress. It was fantastic. Ah, uh, beautiful. Can't wait. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification button so you know anytime I upload something. And, uh... Thanks for watching. I will see you all next time. Okay, bye.